Welcome, welcome to Bye Bye 9 to 5 podcast, where we are helping women to understand the essentials of owning a business and running their own lives, making life decisions on their own terms and leaving the nine to five. My guest today is an amazing woman. I am so excited and honored to have her, Miss Diana, Miss Diane, I'm sorry, Miss Diane Forrester. And she is known as the intentional living expert and reinvention specialist. And she has got a whole list of things that she does. I don't know how she possibly does all of this. So she's a best-selling author, a sought-after keynote speaker, and a mentor who helps women create massive breakthroughs in their lives in her books, her online program, and her private mentoring programs. Diane is also an award-winning inventor. I can't wait to talk about that. She has a trademarked product, the Spifter, and we're going to talk about that as well. And, but she has created a proven system for anyone who's ready to reinvent their personal and professional lives. Her system proves that you can have it all. And that is my message too, you can, once you learn how to live with intention. And so Diane, it's great to have you. Um, welcome to Bye Bye 9 to 5. Thank you, Kimberly. I'm so happy to be here and serve your audience. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So, Diane, if you will start by just giving us a little bit of your story, I, and I'm sure it's an amazing story. What brought you to this place, to this on this amazing journey? Mm, well, uh, I'm happy to tell you this. Well, I, um, I spent 32 years in advertising and television sales. I spent eight years working in the ad agency business in LA. And then I switched over to the television sales industry in Chicago when I moved there. And I spent 24 years working in that industry. And 20 of those years I spent at ABC. So um, I have a pretty uh, extensive background in advertising and sales and marketing and branding and, and client relationships and clearly sales. I've sold over $100 million of advertising in my career. To, uh, it's probably closer to 200. I, I lost count. Um, so I have an extensive, extensive background in that area. And, um, and then I know we'll talk about the journey to uh, creating the Spifter and how that came to be, but that came during my corporate days that uh, I came up with the idea and just sort of pursued it. It was my entryway into entrepreneurship, and I didn't even know it at the time. But, you know, we, we can talk about more about that in a minute. I just wanted to touch on it right now and kind of lace that in to the, the story. And where, why I'm doing what I'm doing today, which is um, running I Have Today and really empowering predominantly women to live life to the fullest very intentionally and helping them realize that they truly can have it all too, that we are um, only victims of our limiting beliefs. And then once we remove those limiting beliefs and those mental blocks and those feelings of lack of self-worth, that was the fundamental thing that I, that I focused in on. It was my own um, thing as well that I had to uncover. Um, but once we, you do that and you lift the veil off of that, um, you're able to see how much you really can accomplish in your life. And so it was my personal journey you know, the career part was great, um, mm -hmm. but it was a personal journey that led me to creating I Have Today. And, and here's what happened, Kimberly. I was living in a, in a marriage and a relationship with someone that uh, I struggled with for over two decades. And there were fundamental pieces missing in that relationship, and yet I would, couldn't and wouldn't leave it as debilitating as it was. And it, um, you know, it was, it was void of intimacy and real connection. And um, what happened was I, I kept it hidden from the outside world. And I didn't let anyone really know that that was going on. So to the outside world, it looked like I had it all. You know, I had the career and the marriage and the kids and the homes and, the, you know, everything that we believe that we wanted. And I certainly believed that I wanted. But underneath it all, I was very unfulfilled, very unhappy, and um, 
literally was living my life without any passion. And so um, what happened for me is when you refuse to acknowledge your feelings, your emotions, your goals, your dreams, and, and what it is you desire, and continue to put that on the back burner um, and pretend like you don't want them anymore, something's gonna break. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened for me. It broke in, in June of 2011. Um, I attempted uh, to take my life. Uh, it was a Saturday night and it was a regular day and nothing was out of the ordinary except when we left, we were at a friend's house at a barbecue. And when we left and got in the car, um, the fighting started. And when I got home, I just couldn't take it anymore. And I went up to the bathroom, locked the door and had mm -hmm. two full bottles of prescription pain pills in my hand and I was just ready to end it. I just thought I can't take the pain and the loneliness anymore. I just couldn't. And so I had a God moment where the pills got knocked out of my hands and the voice said, you are not ending your life this way. You need to go get help so that you can tell your story so that you can help others. And I'm highly intuitive and I'm, I'm very connected to, to spirit. And so you know, I just threw my hands up and said, well, you need to show me the way because I, I don't know how. So, so that happened in June of 2011. And I reached out for help right away, started seeing a therapist. And by January of 2012, I was out of that relationship. A lot of other things transpired, but I had broken free despite all the fear. And by February, um, I, I woke up one day and I had already started a meditation practice and journaling and I was really trying to dig in to find out what it is I really wanted. You know, what did I want out mm -hmm. of my life? and How did I want to feel? And I woke up one day in, in February and I just sat on the couch where I normally did my meditation and I just started chanting, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you for about 20 minutes. It was nice. extremely cathartic. Tears were rolling down my face and I was forgiving myself. I was forgiving him. I was forgiving the past. I was forgiving everything. And when I got out of that chant, I just said, that's it. I need to own this. I need to own my part in this. I'm the one responsible for the condition of my life. Uh, I didn't set healthy boundaries. I allowed it. I was an enabler and I don't want that pattern to repeat. So I proclaim right now that I want an extraordinary life and I'm going to do everything I can to get it. So that set me down the path of personal development, spiritual awakening, self-help. And I started really absorbing everything that I could and the healing was happening rapidly. And I realized how powerful my thoughts, my feelings, and my words were. And so um, I started to develop these processes for myself that would make um, staying in that positive mindset on a daily basis really easy for me. Nice. And so um, fast forward, I started writing and ch you know, the channeling was amazing. And then in August of 13, 2013, I wrote a poem called I Have Today. And it was simply stated, in fact, it's, it's back there on my wall there. I have today to love and be loved. I have today to be, start fresh and new. I have today to see things with new eyes. And, and it just went on and on. And when I finished writing this poem, I thought, oh my gosh, this is way more than a poem. This is a movement. Mm -hmm. This is the platform for me to allow other women to grant themselves permission to um, get rid of their limiting beliefs and their low self-worth and to really own and know their true divinity, power, and purpose. And I didn't really know what that was going to look like, but that's the download that I got, that that's what that was. So it took uh, about two more years. My twins graduated high school in May of 2015, and I quit my job at ABC. Their last day of high school was my last day in corporate America, and I leaped. And I said, I, I don't know what is going to happen, but if I don't do this now, when will I do it? The moment is today. It's all about I have today. And so I, I got them off to college. I sold my house. I sold all my belongings. I, I left my job with no net, and I moved from Chicago to San Diego <laughs> with you know, my, my spifters, my product, and a dream. And so here it is less than three years later, 
And my life has been nothing short of extraordinary, just like I proclaimed it would be. And so many wonderful things have manifested and come of it. You know, being a best-selling author and speaking and, and um, coaching people and consulting people. I have my own TV show. Uh, we're creating, pie. there's just so much, so many, so many gifts and miracles in my life. So, um, so that was my journey. And the, the work experience that I had has really served me well in building and mm -hmm. creating this brand. So... Yeah. Amazing. That's an amazing, amazing story. And thank you, Diane, for being so authentic and just sharing from the heart because that's a very, very personal story. And um, I have today, I, I absolutely just love that. And so um, one of the things that I wanted to know, though, was I can't believe that um, you know, you, who is this really big ad executive, you've done millions of dollars in sales. Um, you had so low self-worth. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the thing, Kimberly, and it's so prevalent right now. And this is uh, one of my missions as well. I'm creating awareness around the, um, you know, the, all the suicides, the depression, the anxiety. We have no idea what's going on uh, underneath it all. The peer, apparent, outside appearances are very, very deceiving. And the thing is, there are signs for us to really tune into because we can miss them. You cannot diagnose suicidal thoughts. You know, it's not like it mm -hmm. shows up on a test. And, and feelings of low self-worth. And what it, this is a lot of what I learned, a lot of the training. I've been, I'm, a, I'm a certified coach and mentor, mastermind facilitation in NLP, human interaction technology. I mean, when I tell you I immerse myself, I immerse myself. I wanted to get to the root of it. And um, we have so much programming that's, that's embedded in us from, from birth through seven years old, those imprint years, everything is still there. And our subconscious mind is a massive database. It's the hard drive. And all it knows is to take in data. It doesn't mm -hmm. can't tell the truth from a lie. So it takes everything literally. And so when, this is my belief that we have three minds. We have our head, our heart, and our gut. So mm -hmm. when I feel something in my heart, it's a yes. If I feel it in my gut and it doesn't feel right, it's a no. If it goes to my head, logic kicks in, which takes you know a matter of seconds to do, and the fight or flight programming that you know is ingrained in all of us kicks in, and the fear comes in, and that will block us from from moving forward. So so many of us have that unaware. We're unaware that that's what's happening. So the fear and the doubt and the insecurity come in and say, "Who do you think you are?" you're not good enough, you know, you're not smart enough, you're not worthy enough, and all of that stuff starts to come in. And it was debilitating for me. So it was, while it was very functional in my life, um, and there were pieces missing, there was that mindset shift that needed to happen because I kept trying to fill what was missing with food, alcohol, shopping, things, friends, you know, outside things when it was all along the, you know, it was, it was within me. And so the thing is, no one's immune to this. That's mm -hmm. what, I, what I want to say to you. It didn't matter how successful I was and how it looked like I had it all. I didn't feel worthy enough of it. And uh, I didn't have the strength to step out and own my life and, and my, my goals, my dreams, my, des my desires, you know, the things that I truly wanted nor did I allow myself the permission to say, I thought I wanted that. Turns out I don't want that. I, you know, I had that and it just isn't right. And I, it's not, that's not what's meant for me. So, and I know so many of my clients, the many, many clients that I work with, they have, they struggle with staying in situations that they're not happy in for fear of leaving it, the fear of the unknown. Mm. But you and I know that the, the, miracles and the gifts and the greatness are when you step into the out into the unknown and allow them the universe to just deliver them to it's so oh, awesome yeah. so yeah so i spend a lot of my time helping people to see that
for themselves and step into that and experience it. And, um, and then that creates that positive momentum and um, you become more and more fearless. Because I can tell you right now, honestly, hands down, I, I am afraid of nothing. I'm f totally fearless. No matter what happens in my life, I know I'm going to be okay. I, you know, it's, it's, it's such an empowered way to live. And I wish I could bottle it and just give it to everybody. Um, but it can be taught. That's the beautiful thing. It can be taught. So that's what I'm doing. Diane, that is such great work. That is such great work. I mean, I, I feel the same way. I feel like I'm fearless, but no one taught me that. I, I had to lean on my spirituality to get there because I just had so many obstacles in my life. And so um, it's amazing. What you do is so needed because there are so many people, so many women who feel uh, th this way and they don't know why and they don't know how to fix it and they, they just need this. And your message, everything about it is so beautiful. And the fact that you share your soul with that, I, I, so, I so appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, well, you're, you're welcome. And here's what I know for sure. If you're not completely authentic and transparent, you don't give other people the permission to do that. And so it takes being vulnerable. It takes being brave. It takes being honest. You know, I'm, I am no different than anybody else. Truly I'm not. And so if I'm not sharing the pain and the journey of what I went through, then, then others can't learn and see that if that's possible for her, then that's possible for me too. And I can do that too. And, and so, um, that's, that's why I, I do it because I see this all the time. I see it every day. And I thought when I had that epiphany, when I wrote, I have today and said, this is a movement. What I thought in my mind is, um, if I was feeling this way, how many other thousands, if not millions of women are feeling this way too, and living in this quiet hell, and uh, it's just become so obvious that it, it's true. So I, mm. I appreciate that. And I, I totally receive your, your gratitude and appreciation for it. And, and more women are, need to do exactly what you're doing, which is creating a platform to have these conversations and these interviews mm. where we're exchanging our stories and sharing our message because it really does help build the awareness and create the community. And it's in that power of tribe and like-mindedness mm -hmm. that change yeah. happens and it happens fast. It can happen really fast. It's a limiting belief to think, well, you know, this could take me a really long time. No, it, it actually can take you as little time as, as you allow it to. So. Yes. Yes. So, so Diane, for women who are listening and, and this is one thing that I'm going to plead with you to do. If you are feeling some of the things or thinking some of the things that Diane just mentioned, please, this is a resource for you. Reach out to Diane. Yes, please. Tell us about your 90 day system. This is a system that you used for you to overcome all of this and you're sharing it with other women. Tell us about that. Well, so the I Have Today system is uh, my, it, I say 90 days, because it could take up to 90 days. You could do it, you could binge watch it. And it's really very um, philosophical teachings of what my journey was, the three-step process that really turned things around for me. And it is the teachings of the book. And what I like, I, I encourage the, the audience to, to make the investment in this is because you have it forever to draw back on and go back to and and listen to the key lessons that you need um, all along the way what it, wherever you are whether it's um, you know um, communicating without emotions parenting with peace the you know the three step process that took me to where I am today and then I have another process called the emotional energy diffusers which will alleviate fear worry anxiety doubt forever for you when you understand how fast this works, three steps. And I do 
three-step processes for three reasons. They're um, easy to remember, easy to build upon, and then, you know, easy to implement into your life. You can do them right away. And, and it's in creating those triggers. First, it's the awareness, like, oh my God, this is stinking thinking, like something is arrived, this isn't right. And then it's, it's pulling on the trigger to go, oh, that's all I need. I need to remember, breathe, think, praise, or love it, thank it, bring it, or whatever that three step is for you. So I highly encourage your audience to purchase the system along with the book. In fact, let's do this. I just thought of this and I hope this is okay. Okay. If, any, if anyone buys the system, it's $197. I mean, it's a small investment in yourself. I will send you my book. I will autograph it and send you my book for free. I'm happy to do that. I would love to do that for the audience just to encourage them because um, it's, I, I can create the programs and make the commitment to offer it out, but it's you that has to take the step and the inspired action to, and the commitment to do it. And it won't, your life won't change until you make a change and, and, and take the step to do it. It just won't. So, um, and, I, and I tell people all the time, especially when I'm speaking, someday and one day never come. It's today, it's now, it's in this moment. And if you're feeling the pull, like this could be, this could be something that could really help me, that's your yes, do it. That's the moment to do it. And so I've invested a lot of my time, my money, my resources into my education, into my product development, into my services, because I see the value in that. And I've learned from amazing coaches too. I still, I have three coaches right now because I know the, the importance of that. And um, I'm a huge believer in that, in finding support. If you could do it alone, you would. We can't. That's why we need to be surrounded by people like us doing this work and using these products. And, and the system is so easy. It's like I'm sitting there talking to you in your living room. It's very right. conversational and it's very uh, relatable. And they're quick, bite-sized lessons and philosophies that will, you could just be inspired in that moment and, and act on them in that moment. They're easy, easy, easy. I mean, I wanted it easy for me, so I made it easy for everybody else. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. That's very, very nice. So definitely go to her page, and I'll have all of that information on my page. I have a page dedicated for Diane, and you'll be able to see her podcast on the page. You'll be able to see all of her information, how to connect with her, how to get on her website, buy the system. If you feel like, you know, a lot of times you feel like you're stuck in this place and you don't know what to do and you don't have anybody to talk to, nor do you want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. You can talk to Diane virtually. Exactly. You can buy her system. Her system will talk to you like you're in the living room. She's in the living room with you. And... I'm sure, you know, if you email her, tell her you've bought the system, she will send you that book for free and it will be amazing. Yes. It yes. will make a change in your life because sometimes all we need is a change. And, you know, what I tell women, Diane, is if I have a client that I see needs this before they start a business, don't start the business. Right. We're just adding another complex layer on. Get this first. Yes, that is, that's such a key point, Kimberly. I'm so glad you brought it up because when I'm coaching with people and consulting people, what I do is, because um, I've got a balance of left, right brain. I've got all the, you know, I've got the intuition and all of those gifts where I can channel and I'm clear audience. And, um, so, but I'm also, I have a business mind too. So we always do mindset first. If you don't start with the mindset first, you are, you are wasting your time. You mm -hmm. are, because you are going to struggle with those limiting beliefs in your business. So, so this is what I do first. First, we clear up the mindset and we create all those tools and those triggers and, and the resources for you to draw upon. Then we build your business. We create your revenue streams, build funnels, all of that stuff. So, um, that's excellent point. I'm so 
So, so glad you brought it up. Yes. And so um, Diane has the, a lot of tools for you to use. She has the system. Um, she has the book. She does a, a TV show. Tune into the TV show. Check her out on there first and decide now is the time that I want to make a change. She's an excellent resource for that. Um, Diane, I'm definitely going to buy your book myself. I have someone that I want to, I have two people I want to give your book to, um, for sure. Um, I just, uh, 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 it's been about two weeks now. I had a niece that tried to commit suicide as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you know, she just had her 40th birthday party and the very next day, it's like she tried to commit suicide. Right. And so it was like, what happened? Well, so it, she asked, and, and if you want to get her directly to me and I'll give her a complimentary session just to give her an assessment because here's what's happening there, Kimberly. You know, this is what happens with us. We get these high, high highs and then we crash because we, we come up against our resistance and our glass ceiling. So that moment could feel like that. And she's getting the attention drawn to her and the focus is on her and she's not feeling worthy of it. So the next day, that's what happens. So it's, Thank you for sharing that. And for those of you listening, that when you have those experiences, that's the moment to reach out to somebody else. You are not going crazy. You're not out of your mind. And you are definitely not alone. So reach out to somebody right in that moment. It's so critical to, to, to do that. So um, I will definitely connect her with you. Thank you so much for that, Diane. I appreciate that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like, oh, my gosh, what's wrong? There's something definitely wrong here. She needs help. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. And Anthony Bourdain just committed suicide a couple week and a couple weeks ago. Now it was an average normal day for him. Everyone, no one knew that what was going on. That's how it happens. You know, there's those thoughts and those moments, and uh, whether he was contemplating it up until that, whether he knew that was happening that day or not, and there was like a level of peace that came over him because he knew. Who knows? But the thing is. No one knew because he didn't talk about it. We have to talk about it. We have to encourage people to talk about it. We have to encourage them to know that they're not alone and that um, there are resources out there for them and uh, that it is okay. To, there's no shame in it. There's no, no in it. none of that. Yes. Uh, yeah. You're so right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This has been amazing. Thank you so much, Diane. Now, I do want to hop over to your spifter because I so want to hear about that. Oh, my gosh. I, so, so, I can't believe this. Let's hear it. Actually, I think I, I, think I have one right here. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, I usually have one. Um, so I was, this is the moment, and I love encouraging people. So this is why I coach, you know, business life relationship, because I really help especially women, build businesses. They have so much brilliance in them. Yes. And my philosophy is you can have it all. You're a multifaceted diamond, skilled at so many unique things. You're limited by nothing. So here I have this, this empowerment business with I have today, but I also have this product business with Diane Forster Innovation and the Spifter, which is just one product I plan to launch. But it's a sifting spoon that you use for decorating your foods and beverages with your sugars and spices. And the, the problem it solves is you can't control how much spice comes out of a container. So you can over-season foods and ruin foods. And I was making deviled eggs and poured paprika out and it ruined my dish in one second. That's how I came up with the idea for this. But I designed it with three different interchangeable sifting bowls that vary in sieve size. So it's, it's really versatile. You can use it for, you know, baked good cookies, cupcakes, brownies, you know, things like that. Coffee drinks, appetizers, entrees. So it really works great on a lot of things. It's great for straining tea. It's great for getting olives out of a jar. It's great for getting cork out of your wine glass. I mean, it's got so many uses. And it's something that, um, it's the only thing like it that solves that problem. And it's the only thing like it in the world. And it's, it's, you know, it's available at Amazon. It's available on our site. It's available at Bed Bath & Beyond online. And so nice. um, it's one of those things, you know, it's, it's $19.99. You buy it once, you have it forever. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm so proud of it. And this really was my entryway into entrepreneurship. And what I want to say to the audience is 95% of ideas 
never get made because people talk themselves out of it. And how, what happened with me with this was, um, I was trying to be, people were trying to talk me out of it. And I just kept saying, I just want to see where this goes. I just want right. to see where this goes. Well, it got me on ABC. It got me to, I won an innovation award at the International Housewares Show. And I've been on QVC with it. Just this simple idea that I saw through. I didn't know what I was doing, but I took one step, the next step, the next step. And that's how you do it. You know, that's, that's how you eat an elephant. You take one bite at a time, you know, you just see where it goes and, and, and trust in the process. So, so my innovation mind helps people see their ideas through and how we can take all the components of who you are and build a business out of that. That's what's so awesome. And it's so empowering to, to create your own business, your own brand, your own empire. So can wow. you tell me about this? <laughs> Diane, you are so brilliant. Oh my gosh. Now, now let me tell you what really, um, and I need, I have, my mind was turning when you were saying this because I have some, my girlfriend's husband is a chef. He's going to oh. love that as a gift. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. um, I'm getting them one. Um, but what is so amazing, and ladies, don't miss this. Not only does Diane work with your mindset, not only have Di has Diane been walked, actually walked out that journey, but she is able to help you with your business ideas. Once she has helped you clear out all the limiting beliefs and everything else, she's able to help you with all those business ideas, especially yeah. those ideas where people say, where'd you come up with that from? That'll never work. Right, right. It's her innovative side of her brain that is able to help you walk that out and see how, yes, Let's just see where it goes. It may work. We may be able to get this to work, but let's just follow it through one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Don't miss that, ladies. Because I know a lot of you at home are sitting on ideas and you're thinking, I don't know where to begin with this. I don't know how to even, where, what do I start with? How do I, Diane is your person for that. Um, you know, I, I heard a story once about a man that was, that was at a conference and he, he whipped out this book and he said, oh, I've been carrying around these ideas for 20 years. <laughs> and the conference speaker was like, uh, they're just, yeah, they're just, it's, it's just paper, you know, because you've never acted on any of them. So you've got to act on your ideas. And if there are things in your mindset that's holding you back, Diane is your person to help you with that. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here's what I've learned. You know, uh, the feedback that I got on this and but trust me, I've made many, many mistakes. I don't call them mistakes. I call them lessons along the way in this process and in this journey. But um, so many people said, I've been looking for something like this for so long and what, how brilliant it is. And, and so the feedback is really good. So uh, even the, my own limiting beliefs about it, like it's a spoon, who needs a spoon? It's a special spoon and people do need it. And your ideas, if they're sitting in a notebook or and they're sitting in your head, um, you, the world is not benefiting from them and the world is waiting for your ideas. This is what I know for sure. And there are, you know, on, on Google search every single day, Kimberly, I am not kidding you, 25% of the things that are searched on Google on a daily basis are brand new searches. That's how many unanswered questions there still are. So don't think, oh, that, you know, somebody else will come up with this or nobody needs this. Or, don't think that way at all. Your, your brilliance and your ideas and your innovation are so in demand. So, wow. Yeah. That has given me a new perspective in itself, Diane. I'm, I'm now, my innovative brain is going to work. I'm going to think about what is it that I've always wanted to, to innovate. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, like a lot of you out there, I, you know, I think, oh no, but where would I begin? I, you know, where would I start? Now I have a resource. Yes, you do. Because I take you through the first three things that you have to do. Everybody has to do for, for any idea, you know, how to flush very, it out. So. Very nice. Very, very nice. 
Thank you so much. Well, Diane, it was it has been such a pleasure. And like I've said before, um, I'm going to put all her information up on the site. She is giving you a free gift, her 10-day passion and purpose. Go ahead and tell us about that. Okay, well, yeah, I have so many resources for your audience. Um, uh, the 10 days to your passion and purpose is, um, it's available at ihavetoday.com forward slash free. Let me tell you that first. I'll tell you at the end as well. But what it is, is it's a, let me see if I have my copy here. I do. It is a 10 day online, you know, email program that you get and you get with it a life invention journal that I created just for you. And so for 10 days, you get a video of me each day with that day's word and how to create awareness for you. What is what is your truth? What are you passionate about? What's your purpose? It helps you define and get all the clarity and the answers right here in 10 short days. Nice. And then they give you the journal exercises to, for you to really go in there and do the work. And I will tell you, this was such a commitment on my part to put this together because um, I know how important it is and how unclear people are. They're stuck. They're not focused. They have no clarity. So this will help you figure it out and really identify what's important to you, how you want to live, how you want to feel, and then where, you know, to give you the base. This is the foundation right here. And um, it's 10 days, 10 videos, 10 journal exercises, and, and so much clarity in your life. So that is at ihavetoday.com forward slash free. So it's free opt-in. I'm, I'm offering it for free for a limited time. It is going to be an online, you know, paid program because I'm going to have other components with it to take it to the next step. But that's a great, great way to get started, really. Yes. That is a great way to introduce yourself to Diane and find out what she can do for you. Mm -hmm. Definitely so. So, mm -hmm. Diane, I do have one final question for you. And if you will address the audience with, and, and one actionable item, one actionable item that they can take away from all of this and put into play today to start to change their mindset and see things differently. Okay, oh, that's hard to answer in one, but here's what I will say. It's the first exercise in my book, and it is to take some time you pour yourself a cup of tea or a glass of wine, go somewhere quiet and write out your life the way you want it to be, not the way it is. Don't let time or money or any restrictions get in the way. Act as if it's a clean slate and, and I am standing over you like uh, the genie in the bottle, like I'm going to make your wish come true. Make go, go hog wild crazy, dream big, be limited by nothing, but write out the life that you want, not the one that you have. And allow yourself to dream and feel those feelings. Because here's the thing, Kimberly, everything that we want, we want because it's going to make us feel better. That's what we believe. So go to the feeling place first, and then it can, the universe can bring it to you. You have to vibrate with the feeling of it first. But first, you got to get clear about what it is you really want. So where I, I thought I wanted this relationship and this marriage that wasn't, helping, wasn't healthy and it wasn't serving me. And I realized that I didn't want that. I wanted something totally different. I had to give myself permission to say, this isn't working. What do I really want? So wow. that's what I would say you could do right now today. No excuses. Like you turn the TV off, you know, get off your phone, get off social media and give yourself the gift of honoring yourself and investing the time to write out what your life, the way you want it to be. Absolutely. So. Diane, I'm doing that. I have never done that before. And when you were saying that, I had a feeling inside, like a feeling that, got stuck right in here where it was like, oh my gosh, that could be so amazing. Yes. It's such a, and it's fun. It's so much fun. That's the thing. Life is supposed to be fun. It's yeah. supposed to be a joyous, fun adventure. And we lose that as, as children that we, we, all of those, you know, programming get in there and then we stop that childlike play and imagination, which is supposed to carry us on the entire journey. And we lose it. So this is a way to tap into that, have fun with it, 
You're limited by nothing. So just enjoy it and have a good time with it. So I will tell you, I do that. My whole life has transformed because I know the power of our thoughts, our feelings, our words, our actions, and the power of manifestation. So um, nice. that is easy, free thing you can do today, right now. Nice. Very nice. Ladies, do it. It doesn't matter what your life looks like now. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're feeling. Just do it because I'm doing it. Good. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to change this. You know, I have things in my life that I want to change around. So I'm going to write it all down and, and, and feel it so I can manifest that and bring that to me. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Thank you so much, Diane. You're so it, welcome. It was wonderful having you here. And Oh my gosh, you are changing the world one woman at a time. And I thank you for that. Yeah. Well, here's what I would like to ask of, of the audience. You know, the, the um, don't keep me a secret. You know, if something you heard resonated with you, share this with at least five people. Like that's how we spread the word. That's how we get the, you know, the, the spider effect to spread the good and the peace and the love and the gifts is by sharing it and spreading the word about it. That's what's so important to do. Um, because, you know, I can market and do all I can on my own, but I need the community to be talking about it too. So, uh, yes. and I thank you so much for this opportunity and this platform to share my philosophies, my years of, you know, work and on this and to really help empower them because it's truly what I live for. It is my mission in life to, mm -hmm. to serve women in this way, so. Great so, job. I appreciate it. And Diane, we will definitely be in touch. And so we are ending the Bye Bye 9 to 5 podcast for now, but we will be back soon. And hopefully one day Diane will be back with us sharing some more additional information. Okay? Great. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.